Back out here. Day. Playing with this pump. I mean, every time I turn around, I just really didn't want to go. But I'm pretty sure I'm done now. She's in there. She's torqued in. She's got her color shift paint on. Um, I'm pretty much done with all this on the bottom. I gotta wait for my uh, one-way valve to come in. It had a rusted screw and it was leaking rust, so I need to get another one of these and install it from Jet Maniac. So, I'm gonna show you some difference here. So this rod plate came with the ski. This rod plate came with the ski. And I used to run, when I first got my first chin, I used to run one like this. See how deep those chines are? Super deep. And then it's also kicked. See if you can see it on here. See how much of the pump you can see. Comes all the way down here to almost the neck. This is that. You have a bolt hole here, here, and two on the sides. It's called a full, I don't know, full width ride plate. You know, usually stockers, stock skis, and some other aftermarket ones, they just do, you know, the ride plate here and back. Well, I wrote it like this. Oh, let me show you the kicker. So as you can see, the side tails chamber off, but the middle section stays straight out. I used to have one like it, I didn't like it because these chines, super aggressive on, on the chan, and it makes it really, really carby, and a lot of people don't like that, but I do, but I don't like as much. So, first one looked just like this, this is the one that came with it. I'm not a fan. This is the one Austin made me. I have to do a little fit and fabricate. But look at the link. All the one was to here. Shortens it. I think it rides better. This one here wasn't built for this one, so it has a little lip. But that'll just, you know, push the nose down. And I'll do a little more fitting and prepping to make it fit better. But all the bolt holes line up. Um, we're a lot shorter. And what else? Austin made this one custom. He took the aggressiveness of the chine out. As you can see, this chine is sticking up. So the aggressiveness of the chine is not there. So that's going to make it looser in the rear end. I mean, these chans are really hooky. I mean, they're after an SXR, so they're super hooky, but they're shorter, so they want to ride the nose high, so, you know, it all doesn't really go together. But once you're on plane, man, it, it, it handles real nice, and it just, I like it. But, get these bad boys. I mean, just looking at it, you can see how peak at that. This is. I mean, you have the peak on these. It's gonna make it even more hooky. This here's just kind of rounded, so it takes it out. Austin has a mold. He made a mold off the last chain I had. So it says when he gets done with the, with the mold, he's gonna start popping them out. People want them, sell them. And they're heavy duty. I mean, I can't even. This is this is actually two plates put together because the ones that these people made were so thin. You can see that there's two layers there. But when you hit it, Austin's is way more. It's actually bending. Austin's it has a thicker on all the curves 
it's extra thick all the way out through the edge i mean it's this one here is kind of thins out here and there and another problem is when you're doing the full length rod plate you know you have a bolt here touches the side of the ski pulls it in touching here pulls it in you have these voids where it's not touching anything on the ski this is a lifesaver right here because put a little pookie in there you know while it's soft smash it to your ski you know put some uh what is it called some like non-stick baking sheets whatever those things are called on your ski and then smash this down so it'll form to your ski and you'll have more contact points i mean realistically if you used to run like a strip of pookie go this way and this way on both sides and then put your wrap on your ski and upside down and smash it to it it would conform perfectly to your ski and you have more contact points because what happens is you don't have a contact point it's sitting there going up and down on the water as you're going across it and then it gets a little fracture or crack and then you land a backflip one day and it goes whoosh, straight across it and you're riding off from whatever and all of a sudden your ski's pulling to the left or the right because this thing's hanging off of it. I think I've broke two. I cracked one, we refixed it, and then I shattered the bitch, and then this is Gen 3. And it's lasted two years. I mean, you can tell she's got some wear and tear on the bottom. With the visual carbon. Just putting it up here for fitment. I mean, we're all lined up in all of our holes. I don't think I'm about to dish any out. But these are the bolts. I'm probably going to change it up. Um, as you can see, like the washer has been bent to fit the curve right here. But just use a flat pan head Allen. On the sides, I probably should do the same. But, you know, I've been running these just plain Jane stainless bolts, lockers. And it's kind of dished out too to form to the plate. I'm going to try to do that right there and blow all that junk out. Watch it. Clean all that junk out. So, you know, I'll do it a couple more times. And then before I put the bolts in there, I'm probably going to order some titanium. Don't tell Austin. Because if I order titanium, Austin's got to be like the bow show.